Hi ladies and fellow runners. My name is Manuan and I'm here to do a shoe review of several shoes that I have ran in. Um, I am a former sprinter turned distance runner who is really enjoying running anything from the mile to the 10k so far. In the fall I will be starting my transition for my first half marathon. So I've been researching shoes to use for distance running and I just want to do a quick review of the shoes that I've used in the past as well as my latest addition to my running shoe family. So um, to start with, my newest shoes that I just ran in this afternoon is the Wave Musha 4. I just got this, uh, ordered it online at Running Center dot com and I have to say I really like them. I needed a shoe that's going to take me beyond the three mile point. So I did extensive research, went to local um, stores, I went to a big box store in this case, Dick Sporting Goods, and checked out some shoes and uh, this is the shoe that I decided on. Um, it wasn't at Dick's. I actually, um, when I got to Dick's, I saw quite a few shoes that I liked, but because they're the newest, latest, and um, on the shelf, they tend to be pricier, so I just compared those with what was available online, and of course you have more options when you look online. So, um, about the Wave Musha 4, uh, they're extremely lightweight, and one of the things that I was really looking for was something to help with... Um, Stability. I am a mild to moderate. I'm more on the mild side of overpronation. So I can get away with running in neutral running shoes up to the three mile point. Um, and then after that, I need a little bit more support because as fatigue sits in, you're not able to keep that same, um, well, my, for me, mid front plant. Um, position as I run. So up till now I've been running in for my one mile 5k races. I've been running in the Kinvara 3's um, which I got a couple of months ago. As you can see they're pretty well worn in. Um, but the problem that I had with this shoe is when I would do my five mile runs. Um, I did it last week um, a five mile in these shoes and my front, um, this uh, arch, no, not in front, the place in front of my foot um, was really, really sore. So I just realized that I cannot go that long running in these shoes. So I had to get something that was just as light but made for longer distances. So I decided on, the, on doing research to find a better shoe. Um, but these are great for track workouts, for um, speed interval workouts, um, anywhere from 1500 on down. I, I run in these shoes um, and they're great for, for those, for intervals and up to, I would say, maybe ideally a two mile. Um, I've done a couple of 5Ks in these and they were fine too. Um, and before I started going towards minimalist running, which is what I do now, I was running in these shoes, um, <laughs> the uh, Gel 1150s, which I've had at least three pairs of these. I really, really love these. These, and I would say the sister shoe, the Brook, Brooks Adrenaline, um, were just awesome, awesome shoes for running um, long distance training. Once I started going to lighter shoes, I it was really hard for me to go back into running into the, in these shoes because I mean, when you get used to running light, this becomes extremely heavy. So that's why um, with these, I retired running in these for a very long time. I actually did a lot of running in these in Haiti. Um, it was really, really interesting, the terrain there. But um, these were, is another overpronator shoe as well, the Wave Inspire 8. Didn't run very long in these. To me, they had a little too much cushion inside. 
um, and then the weight too, because I do do barefoot running now too, and definitely I, could, I just couldn't go back. But for like walking and gym and things like that, this is good. But it wouldn't be for me worth the money to buy something like this just to do those type of activities in. So um, that's a quick review of the shoes. This video is mainly for these shoes here. Um, you can look them up online and see if they're a good fit for you. Um, Wave Musha 4s. I ran in them today and I'm very happy with them. And um, definitely check them out. Okay, thanks.